the state of Israel was founded on the basis of ethnic cleansing and ethnic segregation. So its first laws were explicitly racist. There are three laws that explicitly uh, use the term Jewish in order to give privileges to people of my ethnic background and deny the rights of the others. And there are many more laws. Today we have more than 50 of them that are implicitly racist, that depend on these formal laws. And there are many, many more practices that are racist. But by law, there is discrimination. And that legal type of discrimination against an ethnic or a racial group is what falls under the legal definition of the crime of apartheid, as defined in the Rome Statute. So Israel neatly falls under the legal definition of the crime of apartheid, which is a very serious crime under international law. It's one of the few crimes that, along with genocide, that uh, is regarded as a crime against humanity. So that is what we mean when we refer to Israel as an apartheid state. Um, now, adding to that, the, uh, the Secret Security Service of Israel, the Shin Bet, stated in court that they are monitoring anyone who is acting against the Jewish character of the state, even if they do it legally. So basically, anyone who is promoting democracy, anyone who is promoting equality in Israel, is being regarded as some sort of a security threat to the state. So what does that tell us about the state? You know this whole peace discourse that we hear? Usually a two-state solution? First of all, it's no solution at all. Definitely not what we are being offered by the Zionists. The Zionists, when they talk about two states, basically, they want to have something for the Palestinians in order to justify and maintain that apartheid state that is for the privileged and only for the privileged. And then they will give something to the Palestinians, and even about that they are negotiating and coming up with all kinds of ridiculous demands, as if they can come up with any demands. Israel has exactly and precisely zero rights over the occupied territories of 67, just like the US has exactly zero rights over Iraq.